Yo, yo. Yo. Ah, shit. Every time. Every time I'm like, yeah, this will work, no problem. And then for whatever reason, it decides to not show the screen. There it is. Hello. Howdy. Hey, everybody. It's SK. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu, pseudo impromptu stream. Like, I, for some reason, all I've been able to think about the past day and a half is just kind of wanting to play more Lotro, even though I was like, yeah. Oh, I hate the questing, but you know, that's a thing. Um, that's invisible. What does it look like when it's not visible? Yes, nothing. Okay. But uh, I got uh, the first half of my vaccine yesterday. Yay! I am halfway to being largely inoculated from a deadly virulent plague. Only problem is I feel like absolute ass right now. Uh, this is the first time I've gotten up since... Like nine o'clock last night, which is basically about 24 hours ago, um, I was down for the entire time. And I'd like, as just as a minor PSA, like that's the reason I don't have the, the webcam on, because right now I can't really do like super bright lights and stuff. I'm still like, um, I'm sipping on some Coca Cola, not because I necessarily want to be unhealthy, but because believe it or not, Coke syrup actually has um, words and sentence structure. Um, it actually has some qualities to help with nausea. So basically watered down Coke is some of the best stuff that you can drink when your tummy is not feeling fantastic. Um, but like as a minor PSA, like for, for God's sake, take this shit seriously because like I'm, I took one half of the vaccine and the reaction I'm having, if this is a fraction of what COVID can do, man, like this is no fucking good, dude. I have had flus that have not taken me down like this. And this is just one half. So I, I've heard that People who have a reaction on the first shot tend not to have a reaction on the second and vice versa. So hopefully the second shot will be a lot better. But like, dude, I feel like garbage. Like, I feel bad. Um, and figured since I feel bad and I'm not really going to be moving any, I may as well just sit back and chill with something that's very, doesn't require too much thought, that's pretty immersive. So I'm going to be playing on my Hobbit. Uh, and just kind of exploring this really chill, relaxing world. Hopefully it'll let me, um, I don't necessarily go back to sleep because I've actually been basically on and off sleeping for the past 24 hours, but just to help relax me a little bit so that way I don't feel as bad. Um, and you just try and chill because if I'm going to be miserable, I may as well be having fun. Wait. Hopefully that made sense. I don't know if that made sense, but hopefully it did. Either way, what is this? What is... So I, like, the past, since I've been laid up, I've actually been watching some Lotro stuff, and I'm kind of curious as to... Yeah, 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 whatever, fine. I have 15 Lotro points. Neato. Hmm. So I'm assuming 100, like, 100 Lotro points is a dollar, yes? So, 8 bucks... Eight bucks. Defiler, Stalker. One of the things I was watching was something that was a uh, video on the free-to-play versus VIP and yada yada yada, how being a VIP or even like the premium member can give you so much more versus pure free-to-play because pretty much everything is locked behind Lotro points, which you can do entirely through game. It's just like you, you gotta put in some fucking work to do that shit. So... Yeah, so 600 Lotro points is eight bucks. Really? That... That seems okay. 200, like, my God, why? And I know there are people who do that, but at that time, like, why would you spend $200 on that when you can just be a VIP and get most of the shit for free? Like, buh? 100 dollars every 12 months so every 12 months that would be yeah like eight bucks a month eh. i mean i already spent a six month subscription on alad so like i mean granted that was like 20 dollars, but still okay so expansions how many expansions war of the three peaks minus morgul mordor riders of rohan rise of isambard mines of moria Ancient Helm's Deep. Mm. 
This shit is still like 25 bucks for these expansions, really? I mean, okay, but like that's crazy pants. Sorry, I'm kind of curious now. What the hell is this? Character edits. No items. Discounts. Okay, well, that's good. There's a... Oh, I was gonna say, there's a level skip. Travel skills, milestone skills. Okay. I'm actually kind of glad that these things don't really exist that much. Okay. Cool. There's not really a straight-up level skip as of yet. Okay, cool. Mithril coins. Good. Inventory slots. I know that there's definitely your entire count. That's a lot of five slot inventory things. Shared storage. So basically an account wide storage, wardrobe space, carry alls. To be honest, looking at this, looking at this shop, it's, I mean, it's actually kind of fairly priced. Like that's not Boom, the Orning and character slot bundle. Bonus character slot is basically like five bucks. Why does it have like 18,000 of them listed though? Like you don't, you kind of got, you got the point. Currency gold cap, remove gold restriction on all characters. Like four, I mean, I mean, granted, it's kind of nickel and diming everything, but also at the same time, like, that's not... Again, I saw how Rift did its monetization. Like, this is not that bad. I've seen way worse. Ugh. I feel like poop. Okay. Let's go into Middle Earth and just run around and have fun, yeah? I apologize if this is quiet or if... If I don't talk very much. What's funny is that talking a lot, if you can hear my big, large, big, large, sure, my uh, large Coca-Cola from Firehouse Subs, um, pretty much the only thing keeping me salt, salts, not solvent, salt, solulent? There's, that's, no, that's like solulent green. Um, soluble? I can't think of the word. It's the only thing that's keeping me up and going right about now is what I'm saying. A little bit of Coca-Cola, just watered down Coca-Cola has a really huge impact on how well... Just, it can help with the nausea. But either way, I'm, I might be a little bit quiet. Because talking too much can actually start to make me nauseous, if that makes any sense at all. And it doesn't for me, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But I'm going to run around and chill and have fun playing this. And just try to keep myself a little bit relaxed. You know what I'm saying? So I have... So apparently deeds are basically like a... Oh, that's pretty cool. Like in-game achievements and shit. So what I can do, I want to go back to Woodhall because apparently I have a quest there. One of the deeds is to pick up these spoiled, um, the spoiled pies and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, like I have enough shit that I'm trying to, I have en enough shit that I'm trying to do. I have enough MMOs that I'm technically trying to play. So I don't want to necessarily add to it, but I got to say that the way that this game does immersion is actually incredible. You know, Vanilla WoW was really good for kind of immersing you because it, it kind of did some, you know, visual tricks where everything around you was maybe not necessarily bunched together, but everything around you was very tall and overarching. So everything seemed very tall and, and wide and grand. So you kind of felt very small in this big, very big world sort of thing. And I do think that Vanilla WoW was a pretty big world. It's a pretty impressively sized thing, especially to have it kind of all on, you know, one or two continuous stripes, which was not necessarily unheard of, but was definitely not common back in the olden days of yore. Uh, Lotro seems to do the exact opposite, where you have a lot of uh, hills and valleys and vistas and stuff like that. So you can stand on a cliff and you can just see this vast swath of space uh, and you can see how truly gargantuan these zones are. And these zones are huge. These zones are absolutely freaking massive. And it's really easy to kind of get lost in this area and kind of enjoy it. 
And again, this is coming from somebody who's not a Lord of the Rings fan at all. Like, I, you know, I, I tried reading one of the books when I was 10. I got like halfway through the first chapter. And for some reason, my brain was like, this feels like the Bible. I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. No, I know. Like, just, like looking back upon it, I'm like, I don't, I tried reading it again a few years ago. And I'm like, why did I think this was a Bible? I'm still not interested in this, though. Um, you know, I watched the movies a couple of times. They're good movies, but like, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I'm not a fangirl, but so I can say that with, say, not like a lack of nostalgic or rose-colored glasses or what have you, but like, you know, I would say that my opinion is a little bit more objective because I don't have, you know, I don't have the love for the franchise that a lot of people would have who play this. And like, this is, this world is gorgeous in a very sort of down-to-earth way. It's not the most high fantasy high fantasy it's not like terra or wild star or anything that's really super crazy out there like final fantasy 14 stuff like that so it's a little bit more i guess like i said down to earth but it, it's so vast and so just so relaxing it's so nice i like it and literally ever since i took that shot and i've been down i'm just like man i want to play more lord of the rings <laughs> Like, I never thought, I never thought I'd say that, but I just, I want to play Lord of the Rings right now. Like, fuck making things for my YouTube content right now. I don't feel good anyway. I want to play Lord of the Rings. Where am I going? Wait a minute. I have to take this. Oh, fuck that. Okay. Oh, that is a long run, dude. Oh god, okay. That is such a long quest focus. Don't attack me, don't attack me, I don't want to drop the pie. I don't want to drop the pie. I don't want to fight you, fly. I have a pie I have to bring back. This is my life right now. It's such good, it's good fight music though, I like it. I definitely dig it. God, this is a long run. <laughs> Stupid pies. Oh, this quest is gonna... Oh, this deed is gonna suck, isn't it? Because I'm going to have to go literally from all over the freaking world. Not the world, you know what I mean. But I'm going to have to really pay a lot of attention to make sure that I can uh, get 12 pies back to this. I mean, granted, it's in the center of the zone, so it's probably for the best, but like... Christ. Hello, Bander peoples. Oh, Bounder. Oh, it's the free peoples. Okay, that's fine. Oh, nope, nope. I'm still going. Nope, it's going the right way. I also get the feeling that this probably has a... Uh... What am I trying to say here? This thingy down here, whatever you call it. Like, the timer I have here may not be the most the most forgiving, considering I'm starting from back in frickin' Woodhall here. My name is Frogmorton? Oh no, I'm in Frogmorton. Okay, I'm like, what the shit? Uh, Hungry Hobbit can fuck off. Fight me, Hungry Hobbit. You see nothing, Hungry Hobbit. Back up off my Cheerios. Okay, game, I know you gotta load. Very big zones, I know. It's okay, I promise. For the record, I have a 5900X at a 3070, so the hitching is not anything to do with my computer. I think it's quite literally just the nature of the beast, unfortunately, because the stuff has to load. And I mean, I have it literally at max settings. I could turn it down some, I'm sure, but I don't want to. <laughs> Basically, what it amounts to is I don't want to. Holly Hornblower, please take this freaking pie. Thank you. What is this quest?
Is it in here? Sheriff <coughs> Robin Smallborough. How do you do? Well, the broad belt is the right to be concerned. I've always had people with dangerous spiders seen in Brindhole Wood, north and northwest of Overhill. I think we're going to spend you looking at this problem. Try to kill as many of the spiders as you can, but also explore the north end of the woods and see if you can find their nest. I mean, okay. I'm down. Sure. Whatever. I'm gonna kill spooters. I can kill spooters. Wait, where is it? Oh. Oh, ball sacks. Okay. There's a way to look up my... I'm just gonna change it to very high. Like, Minecraft trees? There's Minecraft trees in the distance. Hold up. Oop. Oop. Okay. I don't think I will ever be satisfied with the type of graphics options I can get. To be fair, it's also kind of my fault for having this loaded onto a hard drive and not the NVMe storage drive I have, but also it was already on the hard drive when I got the computer and I was not moving like 400 gigabytes of games onto an NVMe storage drive, especially when it wasn't guaranteed that I was going to be playing these for any length of time, so there's that. All right, so spooters have gotta die. Here, spooters. Here, little spooters. Drop of honey, I don't know what you do. Can I click on you, drop of honey? Totally can. Don't know what that's for. Like, look at this. Even though I know this is, this is not the most adventurous, the most crazy pants thing I've ever seen. Just the fact that, say, this kind of looks like a real place that I could visit. You know, the, the old woods and everything that are very kind of put apart from one another and all that kind of stuff. Like, you don't really see stuff too much like this in other MMOs. And I can appreciate the fact that it feels like a real place. It's not, but it sort of could be. Can I have Spooters? Hello, Spooters. I never thought I would be asking for spiders, but here we are. Okay, hello, Mr. Spider. What's up, buddy? Oh, I have... That's right, I forgot I have a bow. Okay. Thank you. New Deed Spider Slayer. Ooh. Shiny. Lol. Okay, so hold up. Key mapping. My bad. Okay, assist, skills panel, housing panel. Quest panel, mounts, K, okay. instance finder, reputation, hobbies, destiny points, which apparently I don't even have the option for. Local auto attack. Use selection. The hell is that? This RQ. Oh, is that what print screen is? Sis RQ? Did 
Okay. Can't look at mail because I don't have the little mail portable thingy. I doodly do. Foraging wood bear, hello. Random bugbear or whatever the hell your name is. Again, I, I really can't stress enough that this doesn't really look very exciting to watch because admittedly before I started playing the game I was trying to watch other people play and I'm like this is interesting but it also kind of looks super boring but something about it is also kind of vaguely interesting I'm interested enough to at least try it but this is actually a lot of fun to play um, even if the combat isn't fantastic uh, this this feels very immersive to play in what is this button I will counter multiple enemies okay Oh, whoops. I didn't actually have to attack you. Sorry, dude. I also forgot I have a ranged weapon now, so I'm kind of just smacking you regardless. So that's my B. Hope you don't take that the wrong way, my dude. Thanks, my man. Not intentional. I kind of didn't mean to. There's shift button zero, yeah? Okay. I don't know what I just got, but I got something, apparently. Twenty virtue experience. I have no idea what that means. Hello, townspersons. This place is so chill. It reminds me of a lot of Grizzly Hills. Mr. Spooter, where are you, please? I gotta kill you for all that XP's. I don't know if that's a singular or a plural, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's sitting down. How adorable. There's a clearing in the wood. Apparently I'm in the wrong damn spot, so that would explain why I can't find any. Wild Broadtooth, I have no quarrel with you. Mr. Spooter, where the fuck are you guys? That's not what I want. Nope, can't do anything with that. Okay. Spider nest, spider nest. Where the hell is the spider nest now? Wood bears don't want to fuck with y'all. There we are. Hello, Mr. Spooter. Okay, what is the option for... Dara, oh, excuse me, Sella Larda. I keep selling Sella Dara.
Ah, there it is. It's a big boy UI design, isn't it, though? Um, is there a way to make that smaller, maybe? Now display vitals. Okay, it's still... Okay, so it's still just as big. How do I change the text? Also, I don't like the fact that my character's name. Must kill more spooters. Ugh. You know, I've been playing this for about 15 minutes and I realize I haven't thought about how crappy I feel for like the last 10 minutes. That's a nice feeling. I'm not used to that. Shoot that thing in the face, please. Okay. There we go. Okay, that looks way better than it did before. So, yay. A for UI scaling options. It's funny that with WoW you still, to this day, have to use an add-on. Oh, did I level? I dinged! Yay! Ding 11. Booyah. Okay, I've defeated the spooters. Question is... Where's the nest? Now the question is to find the nest. Oh, did I find the nest already? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie, well. I think I quest over here, didn't I? Golden perch. I did finding the nest. I have no idea what this is turning off. Reactive block. No idea what that is either. Fine. You. This is very chill though. I forgot the last time I was actually immersed in a game like this where it just feels like a place I could go to and I'm not immediately thinking about quest mechanics and following things on maps and stuff like that. It's just, I see a cool place and I want to go there. Because this is very, very chill. Hello, nosy hobbit. Oh, drinky poo. Hmm. Cannonball! Oh, That was not as fun a splash as I wanted it to be, but that's fine. This game is actually gorgeous, though. I mean, it's not the greatest graphics I have ever seen in a game sort of deal, but there's something about it that is... that kind of sucks you in. And I can super appreciate that. Did I walk past the damn city? I walked past the city. 
or that town or whatever you call it. Just a moment. All things common and below. Thank you. Uh, sort. Yeah. So apparently, I have already gotten all the quests here. Okay. I mean, I could run back to Hobbington, or I could go back to Rock and Borings, and then just take the horse back to Hobbiton. So I think I might just do that instead. And yeah, again, apologies if I sound very quiet and whatever. I feel icky. And this is allowing me to not think about how icky I feel, because this place is pretty. Though I'm wondering how much of it has to do with the fact that the skyboxes are actually phenomenal looking. I want this game in VR. I need this game in VR. I would buy VR just to play this game, because, like, look at this. Who would not play a game that looks like this in VR? Just imagine how cool it would be to be in a world like this and just be able to run around and look at places as you're going. This would be so cool. But then again, I would probably also make myself super motion sick if I tried, so... Hello, Brock and Borings. Hello, Greenfields. Onto Hornblower, huh? I'm going to do one thing, turn it back down to very high, but I'm going to turn. See the, uh... The freaking Minecraft tree over there. I guess it's gonna kind of do that regardless. All right, well, I guess the one thing that takes me out is that those Minecraft trees there. That's the one thing that kind of takes me out is I have to make sure to set the render, uh, render distance as high as it can go. Yep. Might I speak with you a moment? Have you heard the rumors yet? Friends of mine are saying the pansy tunnelly down at Scary saw a goblin on Greenfields, and that there's sure to be more of them creeping in the Shire. That's terrible news. The gazing on the Greenfields is better than anywhere else, and I bring my sheep there out there every day. What will I do if a goblin surprised me out of there? Heard some new goblins are particularly skilled with spears. Be a pincushion before I even saw them. You put my mind at ease if you should wake yourself dab dab deep a dab dab do. Okay, so kill goblins. Got it. Kill goblins. Where? Fuck up there, huh? Yeah, that's like way the butts up there. Probably not happening right now. Now, is there a pie that needs to be collected here? You know, since I'm in the neighborhood and everything. And I know that's one of the reasons it's hitching is because it's trying to render these things from far away, etc, etc. But, damn it, it's pretty. Table master. Is there something I can do for you? Okay, cool. Novice scholar. Mightn't you have a pie that I can take back?
I'm letting you have a pie. Chap something. I don't even know, man. I said I kind of feel like poop right now. Oh, I'm so glad to get shots. Okay. This music is so chill. Now, are you above there or are you in the building? You're above there, yeah? Okay. Hello, sheep. What's up, dude? I'm kind of mad I haven't tried this game earlier. Like, years ago. Because for years I've been playing well because I'm just like, I like the game, I like what I'm doing, I like the world, I just don't like XXX. All that stuff. <laughs> okay, that probably wasn't the right thing to say. Um, I'm gonna blame that on feeling like poop. Um, but that it seems like the time I spent WoW that kept getting further and further away from the idea of being like this world that you could explore, this thing that even if it didn't necessarily have you know, quote-unquote, world content. At least it was a world you could go out and explore and interact with and stuff like that, and it's turned more into... Um, the stuff in the world is is cordoned off into things that you have to do, into chores you have to get done, necessarily, not just a place you go out and make your own make your own fun with sort of thing. You know, make your own content, etc., etc. Um, and this is, this is, right now, this is kind of scratching that itch, I'm going to be honest with you. So you're on that fire, their hands off to some holly home blower hobbits in. It's only for the paying customers of the plow and stores. Mm, bad berries, eh? Well, I suppose I can trust you. I can't risk feeding my customers a bad pie. All right. Take the pie back to Holly and Hobbiton. Her home is north of the main square. Yeah, I know where she is. Trust me. <laughs> I am very acquainted with where she is. Olsen Tubward. Could I take a moment of your time? Was that Yakko? I mean, okay. The pollen stars. Good, isn't it? But let me tell you, I have a viewing problem. Poor Fathing's mood is up, and I want to make sure some of my best bully stout. Wait a minute, have I done... Am I doing the hard work for, like... Words. Am I doing the work for all of these tavern people? Because I think this is the third quest I think I've done so far that involves me helping a tavern keeper to get them ready for this drink-off county fair something something like i'm pretty sure this is not i think this is the third one by now it's funny that they all have the same idea though it would make more sense to go to scary quarry then go back to brackenborough and then go back down to hobbiton <sighs> oh fishing is hard grab the fucking pie i don't give a shit Look, Hungry Hobbits, you don't want to eat this shit. It's not good for you. So y'all need to back up off me. Or favor. Oh, don't break my legs. Don't break my legs. I got the money, Lebowski. It's fine. What? Oh, this is going to be a shit long run. Okay. This is so chill, though. I don't think I can swim. I think I, I lose the game if I swim. So I gotta go over the, uh, gotta go over the bridge. Stupid spoiled pies. Why don't you just tell them not to eat the pie and then we'll give you another one? Why does she need the pies back? Not like you can desynthesize it and get the freaking berries back. Dag nabbit. Okay, now to stay the hell out of all cities. This feels like a place I would want to camp out in and then immediately regret my decision after about 45 minutes because I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Still a place I would want to camp in, but I would definitely not. What's up, bears? What's up? 
Don't hit me. I'm I'm just taking a pie. It's fine. Don't you worry about me. It's all good in the hood. Green onion. Is that a thing I can pick up? Shire Tater. What the hell? Okay, gathering abilities I think are alive and well. To make sure I get over the friggin' McDoodly Doo bridge. Because again, I have learned jumping in the water with a pie in my hand equals bad. Oh, I feel like doo doo and I don't like it. Drinky poop. Mm 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 mm. Hungry Hobbit, you need to back the fuck off me. I did not run all this way so that way you can eat the pie out of my hands five feet away from the people I need to give it to. Holly Hornwater will just beat you over the head with the purses I have to give to people too. What is this again? I know I've looked at this quest before, if not gotten the quest. Did I not grab this quest? Hello there. Oh, that's right. I was turning it back in. Eh. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? I gotta find a way through the webs that are blocking the spider nest you found. Those webs are too tough and sticky to cut through. Fortunately, you know who can help. Gammer buffing up an overhill is a wise old lady who knows all kinds of things about herbs and such. Herbs. Uh, I think she'll be able to brew something up. I was in the middle of overhill. Okay, so off to Overhill it is. This does give me very vanilla wow vibes though. And I mean that in a complimentary kind of way where even though the the questing kind of pisses me off because it's like one quest up here, run back, oh now go over here, now go back, now go to like the ass end of the zone for one quest sort of thing, and it's kind of infuriating. I mean, it's also like you explore the zone. You kind of have to explore the zone. You kind of have to make your own way. Making my way downtown, etc., etc. And back to Alter because I can never make a decision. Is there a way to turn this down? This thingy down here? Or to, like shrink it or something? It's super useful. But at the same time, like I just want it to not be in my way. All right, Lewin. Needle hole, little delving. But right now I have quests for here, here. Ah, uh, ha. Yeah. I got a bunch over in Woodhall and stock and shit as well. At this point, I can't even remember where the hell I've been. Well. Wait, where the hell is this? Oh, this is a... Oh, that's right, never mind, that's a deed. That's right, that's a deed. Move from tracking, no wonder I'm confu confused. About things. Following the stars. That's scary quarry. Entangled woes. Distant dangers. Just to make sure there's nothing over in the hill that I need to worry about, yeah? Vasislus. Oh, I see questies. Yeah, for Gamgee. Yo, my dude, what you got? I've no chuck with strangers. You're new here, aren't you? It's that obvious, huh? Orchard, those sackful bagginses must want common folk like me on the land, but there's not else to do, huh? Okay, so gather apples. I can gather apples for you, mate. 
I am the bestest hobbit to have ever lived. I'm not. Clearly that's Samwise. Pile of apples, yeah. Gimme. I go from fighting a... Well, maybe not fighting, more like running from... A giant scary dark ranger to picking up apples in a field. Orchard. That's the word. But hey, that's all about the hero's journey, yeah? Also, it just makes me want apples. Oh, pretty. That's probably not catching what I'm saying. I'm going, that's so pretty. This is so immersive, though. Part of me wants to just have this on so I can maybe it'll help me go to sleep. Because it's so just chill, like the birds chirping. And the loot playing in the background and shit. Did I pick- did I not pick up the pile of- oh, never mind. Okay. Maybe this is what I need in my life. A game that's actually super relaxing to play. That's not all about the- oh my god. All lol W2F BBQ sauce action sequences and stuff. It's just very chill. And that's literally the word I've just used the moment. most is that this is very chill. this mean? Okay. Not a hunter. Can't do that. Okay. Never mind. Off I go then. Don't! You have a quest? This seems super hoity-toity. random townsperson that's floating about five inches off the top of that, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. You have questuses for me. Prologue. How rude! Heard about the troubles my nephew Mundo went through in Breeland. I assume you hear from old Flower Dumpling's Cornburst to repay us for Mundo's hardship. You're not? What is this nonsense? Whitford doesn't have an ounce of sense in that fat head of his. It doesn't surprise me that he didn't have the courage to come up and tell him himself, but he'll regret it. I'll go to Michael Delving to see him personally and tell him no in certain terms what I think of him. What use is he of Mayor anyway? What use are the bounders for that matter? My nephew has gone through so much and he's barely outside left and he's barely outside the bounds. I want a word with you. Oh Christ. Why do we even need a mayor of bounders or sheriffs if they can't keep my nephew from being threatened and abducted and put through all kinds of hardship? Sackville Bagginsons are a very important family in these parts. I've heard that there are goblins on the edges of the Shire. Goblins! If you ask me, you should stop running pointless errands for a fat mayor and do something about them. Ooh, damn. A pleasant one, isn't she? But that Vulcan Tunley, the quarry supervisor, Scary, has been on goblins on the Greenfields. Talk to him and get to the bottom of this. You there. Dad, give me a moment. Come over here, I've worked for you. Oh, sure, I mean, alright. Simply must have fireworks for my birthday party. More and brighter than that mad Bilbo ever had. I hear that Hyacinth took over in Tuckborough has learned to make them, no doubt from a queer Gandalf fellow. Go over there and tell her I want a dozen large crates of her best fireworks. She lives west of Great Spinals. Or smiles. Of course, I'll pay you if you insist. What a nuisance. I thought the Bounders, or whatever you are, were supposed to do for Shire Folk out of duty. I strongly dislike you. Why are you bothering me? 
You are why laws exist. Right, check this shit out. Huh. I kind of want to go to that spot so I can try to see everything in the zone. Because that's a lot of zone that I'm looking at right now. I'm right here in the center. That means I'm looking all over Frogmorton, Woodhall. Damn, that's crazy that all of that is traversable. That's nuts. Nuts, I tell you. 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 You So wait a minute, the sack filled baggins, is that is Frodo Baggins from like an offshoot of that or something? Are they like cousins or something to that effect? Are Baggins a powerful family? Like now I'm kind of vaguely interested in understanding the lore here, because why are they being such douche canoes? I thought hobbits were all supposed to be, I mean, kind of selfish and hungry, but generally, you know, nice folk or some such. Uh, you have a quest for me, Gammer. Oh, wait, no. I have a quest for you. You'd like to buy something. Why do webs is that, my dear? Such a nuisance they are, sticking to everything you try to get them rid of with. Or rid of them with. Oh, Gammer always has an answer, my dear. I need half a dozen drams of slug slime first, though, and I'll fix you right up for sure. Eh, look at them in the bog if I was you. A shut bog. You know, west of Overhill. Can't miss it. I mean, okay. But yeah, no, this is definitely old school questing where it's just sort of like, ah, go over to these places and there's definitely an efficient route to tackle all of this, for sure. Like 18 of 18 active quests. What am I looking at? Like volume one prologue, make yourself useful. Bird and the baby, collect yellowed reciple. Reciple? Wait, are these completed? Wow, I can have up to 40 active quests? Holy shit. And I can add more if I wanted to, damn. Bird and the baby, collect the yellow recipe. So how do I... One is removed. Okay, how do I... Hold up. Hold up, okay. Oh shit, I didn't realize that I had all of these quests here. I was like, damn, I only have like four quests? What? Oh shit, I've got like all of these quests down here. All sacks. Well, time to Brock and Burrow and then run back, I suppose. Wait. Oh, that's how you track things quickly. Okay. Alright, that's fair. Daffodils. The green ones and the ones are assuming that have been completed. And it's a matter of just going and doing whatever needed to get done. You don't understand. I, I like questing. If I see quests that are in here, I feel sort of mandated to do them. Kind of sucks I can only track like five at a time, though. I really wish I could track... I mean, all of them, really, but like, maybe ten, so that way I can get a better idea of 
which way I need to go. Salalard. Crafting experience bonus weekend, huh? Okay. How do I know how much gold I have? Oh, let me... Uh, that's fine. How do I see what my gold is? Your... Just a moment. Confused. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Hello. Now I can spend more time looking for it now. I don't know if I'm blind or dumb. Both. West log, deed log, social, crafting panel, system menu, Got it. What is a destiny perk? Granted amount of experience bonus. I don't even know what any of that... Okay, I mean, that's cool. I have the premium wallet upgrade. Okie dokie. So, wallet. Got it. Wallet is how I find it. Good to know. Game is super just... Ugh. Again, apologies if I'm being super quiet. It's not. I'm normally way more talkative than this. I just really don't feel fantastic right now, so... Do I have quests or Hobbit down here? Do I have quests in Hobbiton? No. 
I do have quests in Tuckborough still. Those are all like way the fuck out there. Gary Quarry. Angle Dangers. Webs. Golden Perch. I don't even see where the hell that is. And the Shire to Bree. Mouth of Woodall. Oh, that's why I can't see it, because it's freaking... Damn it. <laughs> why? That's Bree. Okay, so... So I got a bunch of quests down in Tuckborough. Got it. Okay. Okay, this doesn't feel so bad now that I have like 18 quests to go down to Tuckborough. I thought I only had the three or four quests and I'm like, really? I did? That's it? There's like, I'm doing one quest and then running back? This seems weird. No, it's just the questing limitation. I'm assuming that there's, I've seen the game has add-ons, so I'm assuming that there's an add-on that lets you see more quests or track more quests or something like that. That may be the first add-on I pick up, so that way I can see just what the shit I'm looking at. Not the button I wanted to press. And yeah, sorry again if I'm being quiet, I'm just... I don't feel so great. But I will say, this game has done a fantastic job of not making me think about it, for the most part. part Postman took, I see... I see you, I hear you. I recognize that you have issues. I got time for you, though. I got... Wait. Is it a quest I'm finishing or a quest you're giving me? Good day. Might I have no. Nope. Not, not doing that as of yet. I'm gonna have to wait for that one, good sir. Seems like there should be a river there, but there's not. Ow. Ow. Arm. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Shots suck. They suck real bad. You. It's been a long time since I've been able to play an MMO and just not have something running in the background because this is just super, super relaxing and I love it. Hi there. You give me a moment. Oh, no, I don't want to give you the pie back. Hold on. I mean, I'll, I will, but not right now. What the shit? Where are all the people I need? Hello? Hello, random 130. Okay. Good lord. Great smiles? Hello, great smiles. You guys have questuses for me. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, that's right. Oh, wait. That's right, I do remember picking these quests up. Okay, so wait. Burden the baby. Got a large chapter. Herbert needs a meal. Need a whole watch is up there. know where the hell that is. Hold up. I mean, needle hook and overhill. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's way the hell up there. Ah, shit, man. I actually was up there. Like, three times now. 
So that's that. Herbert misses a meal. Edelard's chapter. The bird and the baby. So wait, the bird and the baby. Which the great smalls for a recipe. So wait, the quest is actually in here somewhere? What? What? Search the great smiles. Wherever the hell he hid this thing. Basically, y'all were dumb. Did dumb things. This? Can I click the small bookshelf? Can I attack the small bookshelf? No? Okay. I can clearly, thoroughly... Oh, there it is. Wow, and here I thought it was like... Not five feet away from where I was before. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Excuse me? Okay. I love getting spam on my phone. That makes me so happy. Hey. Is there something I can do for you? Bring the recipe back to whoever the fuck. Okay. Okie dokie. Boop. Bring the recipe back to whoever this person is. Yoop. Yoop. Running through a bush cause I can. Don't you walk off. Oh, I need to I don't, with you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to give you a pie though. I don't, I don't want to. What I need is to do whatever the shit this is. Okay, what? This is so gorgeous. Come on in, but think. Hey, Hello did there. you lose something you shouldn't have been touching? Got a bounder out here. She is such a warrior. There's nothing to fear, old Inbar and I have the chapter of Adelaide's and two shakes. We had the chapter in the satchel of the tree. The branch we climbed upon broke off. We were scratching our heads how to get it down, but you just gave me a grand idea. Just knock the satchel out of here with the tree with a stone. Yeah, that's not going to cause issues. Not like things don't live in that tree or anything. Don't worry, I won't miss. Yeah, here we go. Alright, here we go. How are we doing? Oh god, bees, yeah. I'm not saying that's what you get, but it's kind of what you get. Thank you, good sir, Mr. Bee Swarm. That is the most pathetic cry I have ever heard. Well, since about 10 minutes ago when I cried into the microphone because my arm started hurting again. You know, the normal. Oh my god, you're still. Fortunately, the bees are gone. No, look! Baz! You know what? Somehow. Somehow, I'm not surprised by this. It seems like this is kind of a hobbit's life, yeah? They do stupid things and then they're like, Oh no, why am I in trouble? I don't know. Maybe it involves something about getting your ass in trouble with things you actually had no- Hey, I collect bear pelts. I'm supposed to collect bear pelts? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Dude, you were dumb. You were stupid, stupid dumb pants. I just want to take a moment to say, you dumb. Let's see if we can find old Peregrine. Dumbasses. So I can collect bear pelts. What quest involves bear pelts? Okay, so. Daffodil is missing. The ghost of the old took. Okay, so since I'm here, I guess I'm going to go collect bear pelts. 
I mean, hunt 10 bear asses, am I right? Uh, it was nice of them to actually give me that quest for the bear pelts. Even though I wasn't really doing it, even though I wasn't in that particular area. That's cool. Didn't even realize that quest was here. Thanks, game. Much appreciated. There's a freaking rainbow! Oh, that kind of hurt to do. I don't even care. I would like a bear, please. Oh. Keep roaring. I'm just going to keep shooting you with arrows. All right. Thank you. Hostile hill bear. Sup, buddy? How you doing, buddy? What? Oh, they debuff me when they do that. Is that what that is? Whoops. I'm really not 100% certain what buttons I'm pressing. I'm just assuming I'm pressing the right ones as they pop up. Shiny things happen, so I press them. What is this? Vexing blow. Okay, so that's an AoE. Right. Into a terrible wound. Sixty-one to eighty-three damage. Actually, it's pretty hard. So fifty to sixty-six damage. I mean, for being bigger thing. Like, that's actually hits really hard, especially for an AoE. Also, the combat system is starting to grow on me, even though the sound isn't quite as impactful as I wish it was, so to speak. It's starting to starting to grow on me some, which is good. Oh, ow. Ugh. I'm not taking your freaking pie back, lady. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait till I'm done with everything else in Tuckboro, ma'am. That would also explain why I was walking around these zones. I'm like, I don't have any quests left. I did them all already. I'm like, okay, you say so. Whatever. What do you need? Good, you found another stick back in the library. Add a lot. Notes has gone missing. Oh, I have to select a thingy, okay. Finder of yearbooks. I mean, it's five armor less, but it gives me three extra power. So I'll totally wear it for now. I'm sorry. My thoughts were elsewhere. Good, you found the pelts. Now I've got to put them in the library and old Tuck's ghost will be calmed. I'm sure of it. Okie dokie. Okay, well, off we go then. Off I go then. So, what are the... Wait, what? What quest is in here? Might I trouble you for some help? Oh dear, the coast is still troubling my library. In fact, the moment I took a step in, I raised such a racket it gave me a terrible fright. I'm so flutter, I don't think I'll be able to eat supper. Wait, food? There's victuals, especially spiked boar ribs. East of the great smiles, and she's a marvelous cook. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Edelina Co Proudfoot. That's the chick with the pies, yes? How rude. Damn it. 
keep hitting that by accident. Don't seem nearly enough anymore, so she wants to do some spore ribs. So definitely to the- oh shit, okay. It's definitely to the everywhere. Got it. Hey, boars. Give me boar meat. Thank you, boar meat. I think that was also the exact same sound effect that you get in WoW when you loot meat. You get that... Or how... I can't even make the sound effect correctly, but you know what I mean. Boar meat. Thank you. Three and six, and then shift one. Okay, so are we sure that old Took spirit isn't just, I don't know, possessed or something? Alright, Proudfoot. It's been a foul day, it has. Tell Uncle Adelaide to enjoy them, to each too many he'll have to add a notch or two to his belt. Hedonistic little bugger. Oh, that's cool. Yay, god rays. Oh, is it dusk already? Yeah, it is. I wonder how long the day-night cycle is in this game. I'm sure I could find it if I looked it it's up, but terrible. I'm lazy. Just terrible. Quite the cook, isn't she? Library hope that it'll please old Took's ghost. Okay, let's see. This time I'm going to wait for him to come back out. Because I'm sure that there's something else to it. Yup. The rule of threes. Time? Goes to stay in my library. Why would you leave me alone? You know, all this started when he was doing a bit of tidying up in here. And a few things off in the Mathone house and such. I would cost an old rocket from the old Tux last Miss Summer's Eve party. Gandalf the Grey and he are were great friends, you know. And Gandalf having the most splendid fireworks. Perhaps I upset old Tux's ghost when I took that rocket off the Mathone house. Get the rocket back and fire it, maybe that'll appease his ghost. Oh. Center of Mitchell Delving. Mitchell Delving. Fire them off of the Mithel stays in bath water. Or by. Oh my god. In by water. Oh, I don't know why that's making me laugh, but it is. Oh, I'm sleep drunk. It's fine. <laughs> Take it in bath water. I saw the bird and the baby, in the, and I'm just like, baby in the bath water, and it's just, we're firing off rockets in bath water now. You know, that doesn't seem like it'll be an issue. <laughs> oh, I'm sleep drunk. It's fine. It's okay. Laughing made me nauseous. God damn it. More Coca Cola. Not really gonna help, but damn it, I'm gonna try. I'm not going to Michael Delving right now. Or Mitchell Delving or whatever the fuck. How is it pronounced? Does anybody know? I'm guessing it's Mitchell Delving, but I keep wanting to call it Michael Delving because I'm dumb. Just a moment. Oh, really? Fireworks for Loblina Sackville Baggins, is it? I'm almost happy to be able to tell you that I'm both out of fireworks and the ingredients to make them. To this, I made a whole bunch recently, but it was stolen. The Baggins haven't been much help getting it back, begging your pardon. Lobelli really wants to fireworks for her party? Will be the lot of purchases. She has to make this charcoal, saltpeter, brimstone, the island filings to buy, among other things. So you go back to Lynn, make sure she's willing to pay for all of this. If she still wants them, come back here and I'll lay out all the things you need to do. Ah, shit. Well, I know where that's going. Yeah, la, la. Okay, scooch up this way. Okay.
So that's... Is also Michael Delving? Okay. So... That's there. Refurbishing the town hall. say that the uh the intro starting experience probably doesn't do the game justice in terms of just the scale of it i mean granted like the questing here isn't the most fantastic it's very reminiscent of 2004 wow but just the scale of the world and the fact that you could stand on a vista and see the entire zone and know the entire thing is visitable visitable sure i don't know words are hard um really adds there's a lot of immersion in here that's uh that really unfortunately can't be seen i'm sorry what oh okay i didn't realize i was murdering stuff here that's what i get for not paying attention cool but there's an immersion to this that i haven't really seen in a lot of uh mmos of late that's nice it's really nice. I've actually been really missing this kind of being able to sit back and just kind of get sucked into a game sort of deal. Hello? Uh-oh. Uh, what's up, rats? How's it going, my dudes? Devastated. Look to Garibert's journal. Fine as usual. Today, Peregrine dared me to hide one of the Longoboros in one of Longoboros' wagons. The one that head east out to the Shire. He doesn't think I'll do it, but I'll show him. Oh, hell. That's unfortunate. This is almost just good basically just annex himself to another zone or something. Yep. I gotta say, Dusk and Dawn is gorgeous in this game. Like, look at that. I mean, not my face, but... I'm walking into the woods. This is actually gorgeous. a song don't you turn your back on me argentina no i'll have to think on it my brain's kind of mush right now it's been a foul there we go toss was empty has. yeah let me take a look at this journal of his i'm sure he's all manner of embarrassed to know i've read his journal but i think it's important to know where he's gotten off to i want a word with you oh dear well it seems gary but may have gotten himself in a bit of a pickle Last entry, this journal said that our fool cousin Pippin dared him to hide in one of the Longo Barrow's wagons going east. Because it was written some time ago, Pippin's been away in Hobbington. Longo's farm isn't that far away. Hmm, perhaps I should speak with Longo to see if he's seen Gary, but... Dark road east out of Tuckborough. You know, 
reading this quest makes me kind of existential because it's sort of like a, you know, it's been like a week and a half and nobody's heard from this guy. Maybe somebody should go check on him. And I'm just like, well, damn, like freaking 2020, 2021 call. And you're just like, Ugh. quarantine called. And you're like, can we not think about this right now? Dear me, what do you want? Am I calling about some fool took? Well, you might have seen him, but I ain't gonna tell you what I've seen for nothing. You're gonna have to do me if- oh, Really? Dear me, please don't leave yet. Before I tell you where I've took a fool took, my pipe weed is known throughout the Shire and a bit beyond. Oh, excuse me. My current crop isn't quite ready for harvesting yet. Go to the den south of here and find that barrel of leaf. Of course. Of course I'm going to do that for you. Because somebody's life may be in danger. And he's like, no, I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> You're going to help me first. I'm like, all right. I thought man, I thought the selfishness thing was a man thing specifically. Hey, I'm not dead. Hey, how's it going? Get fricked. Didn't realize that there were... Oh, that's not good. Take this back to Pipe Wagon here, or whatever the hell his name is. Look, I don't want to fight you, Bear. I mean, all right, you're not making it easy for me, but... Remember, you brought this on yourself. I had no quarrel with you. Thanks for the free pelts, I guess. Yep. Really? Okay. Stab, stab. Thank you. Okay, so now I gotta head back up north. Talk to Hobbit Swallow or whatever the hell his name is. Longo Burrow, sure. I don't know what Hobbit Swallow means, but sure. At this point, I, I, I've i given up trying to understand the things that come out of my mouth sometimes, so I'm just gonna roll with it. I feel like crap, so... Excuse me, questies? You have questies for me. Goodness, could you help me with something? I've had problems with my with bears in the hills nearby. My hives are right over here. The bears have killed the bees in all the hives except the middle one. I mean You've chosen a share request with your fellowship. Whatever, sure. Six, two, three, ship five. I'm lucky that I'm way above level right now, I think. Oh no, there's more of them. Indeed. Zah, you've defeated the bears, indeed. That's the lowest my health has been. Oh, gracious me! You deserve a reward for your work. Which one sells better? Oh, gracious me! I, I need your I say, but I've got more bee problems. 
first of all, the wall hives are off. Wow, these quests are dumb. Okay, that's fine. Either way, back to town we go. I legit want to just, like, pop right here and just take a nap. Whamma bamma ding dong. <laughs> All right. All right, I like that. Daughter of Whamma Bama Ding Dong. Mercy me. Found the leaf gift here. All in the bargain now. Isn't that how? Huh? I wanted my life leaf wagons while I haven't seen him, eh? Since I actually seen this took of yours, I just said I'd tell you what I know. And that's all I know. Now off with you fucking douche canoe. Oh... Gone bag. That's fine. Oh, does the music change at night too? Postman took. Sorry, man. I will get with you later. I promise. Cannot a body be left that, alone? That Longo is a rude sort. I'm so sorry that he tricked you like that. I have words with him. Not back to the bat of Garibut. Go out and look for him. I mean, do I have a choice? High water word with you. Hey, level 12 baller. I just had a thought about who we could ask. My cousin and Aldo's married a Rollo Buffin in Woodhull. Why is marriage myself included, but they seem happy enough. Hope we took them passes through here. What happens overseas? Since Garibut is kind of on a leaf wagon heading east, Rollo may know something. Woodhall, east of Tuckborough. So that's east out there. Bell for stings. Bird and the baby's over here. Daffodil is missing. Okay, so I have... I need to go back to Michael Delving, then. Do I have any quests to turn? Actually, no. Let me talk to you, Postman Took. Where are you gonna take me? Stay and have some tea. Okay, so that one actually is Hobbiton. How the hell am I going to avoid that guy? He's like right there. Yep. It's a jump. Daddy Mac will make it. There we go. Stupid nosy hobbitses and whatnot. Ah, oh, son of a... Oh, I was looking at something else. Damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, now I gotta go back. Because I'm not doing this quest again. I would be happy to help you if I knew which quest that was. But I promise you, I will help you eventually. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get right on that, buddy. 
But yeah, moral to these is just stay off the friggin' road, I guess. Which I suppose makes a lot of sense. Hobbiton bathwater. Yep, here we go. Oh yeah, no, there he is. I walked right into him. Yoop. Ah, oh, shit. You're like right there, too. Double jump. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Michael Delving. Mitchell Delving. Whatever. Hello there. Turn in those couple of quests over there. Then probably port back. Oh wow, it's like 10.30 already. Okay. Didn't realize it was so late already. I mean, that's a good sign. I'm starting to feel a little sleepy again. Which is kind of alarming because I basically spent the entire day in bed so far, but you know. Sleepy in a more natural kind of way, not in a in less in a I'm dying sort of way, if that makes sense. I'm just taking it in. This game is very, very relaxing. I don't necessarily want to make this a sort of daily driver MMO, but this is so just chill. The developers did an excellent job on this game. I didn't give this game nearly as much credit. It's a completely different story when you're in here playing it versus, you know, whatever it is you were doing. Like, if you're looking from the outside, it doesn't look all that impressive. When you actually play it, it actually it feels a lot better. Okay, so, Mitchell Delving. Oh, God. Stop trying to load everything in existence, game. Yep. A lovely day, isn't it? I'd love looking for that rocket he sent here. Well, yes, I have it. In fact, I haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. Be careful, although it was quite a lot of ways that since it was made by Gandalf the Grey, it's still potent. Find the methyl stage in bath water. God damn it, I keep seeing bath water by water. There's another quest over here. Bird and the baby. A lovely day, isn't it? Special mod, yes, that's a ticket. It'll be our secret in the meantime here. You know, win prizes, but... Yay! I finally completed that. Oh.
pretty song. Man, I'm gonna have to go into YouTube and just start finding Lord of the Rings music. What quest is this? Did I miss this quest? Might I have a word with you? Did I not do this quest? Avoid nosy hobbits. I've done this quest though, right? Invisible walls. Oh, it's for Tuckborough, not Waymead. Okay, that explains some things. You'd think the hobbits wouldn't be able to see me as nice, or see me as nice, see me as easily in the dark. I mean, it's not quite the same as fast travel, but it kind of gets the job done, yeah? Name coloring is going to have to be something I need to get used to. It's good at the glance knowledge of what is above and below my level, but still. My brain can't parse that green means a low-level mob. My brain keeps thinking that's a good NPC, basically. Hey! New deed, Life of the Bounder. Yay! Meet the needs of a very large... So basically this is they do all the quests in the zone thing, yeah. So where are we going?
Okay, I'm actually starting to fall asleep listening to this. Which is a good thing. But I think that's probably a time to call it. Oh, stretch. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like being sick. Chad, it sucks. Okay. For the handful that are here, thank you for hanging out. Um, lurking and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all next time. Peace out. <laughs>